Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every day, and today, a brand new format, we're doing an Explorer event with Mono Red Aggro. What is going on, everybody? And yes, this is definitely not a standard gameplay video. Uh, normally, Thursdays are all uh, have been standard gameplay because obviously Streets of New Capenna came out, and I wanted to kind of jump into that wholeheartedly and see what we could do. But uh, I thought I'd try something a little different. We're going to do an Explorer event today, uh, which does mean a couple of things. One, a brand new card pool that I am not used to, a brand new deck that I am not used to, and in fact, haven't played at all. And uh, this is potentially gonna be a longer video if we can get the wins. So we're gonna do the best we can, of course, but the idea being that we're gonna go through the entirety of the event in this video. Uh, it may be broken into multiple recordings, we'll see, but uh, we'll, we'll get it out all edited into a single video for you guys. Uh, part of the reason I'm doing this is to test out for what would have been the latest podcast episode. We're talking about the events and kind of the structure behind them and how do you qualify for uh, some particular events later on. So uh, just as a heads up, we're just kind of trying some stuff here. This is Mono Red Aggro. This is the list we're going to be using. This is sitting at the top of the best of one Explorer ladder, which is why we're starting with it. It's also a good entry point in general. If you're trying a new format, Mono Red is like kind of an easy, safe place to start. Uh, now, when I say easy, that doesn't mean that the game is actually easy or the game plan is easy. Obviously, it is just to deal as much damage as possible. There will be decision making that's going on here, but obviously we've got tons of, you know, very efficient, hasty creatures that can get in for some damage. We've got some shut shutting of life gain down with Rampaging Ferocidon, Bone Crusher Giant in here, uh, Thraben, or Torbrand, excuse me, wow, uh, it's just an absolute powerhouse in here, and then of course Embercleave as well. Uh, it'll be nice to kind of rehash some of these cards that we haven't seen in a while, so uh, if you are interested in Explorer, hopefully this is a nice little entry point for the channel. We'll see how things go. I'm not going to go too crazy on the deck tech because it is mono red we all kind of know the burn game plan here so i don't think it's too crazy to just jump into it but let's see how it goes guys uh this is going to be a big learning experience for all of us so let's see how game one goes all right and here we are for game number one uh a little bit of a slow start just with no one mana uh creature but we do have the two robbers as well as a lightning strike and an ember cleave so i think we can safely keep this and uh it looks like we're going to be up against a very similar deck for sure um, let's go ahead and throw this out. I guess technically we could have held on to it, but I do think we want to get the lands out for the Embercleave here. So this could be goblins. This could also just be mono red, which I think it is. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and robber of the rich here and get the attack in. Um, and just see how things go here. Uh, if to be there's more cards in hand, that's fine. All right. So again, guys, as we're going through these games, we're both going to be hopefully learning a little bit more about what's going on in the format, hopefully having some fun with it. Uh, I've got a long way to go before I feel like I'm going to be anywhere near reasonable in, uh, in this format, but uh, it is worth noting that I do think it's going to be a really fun format. And so for us, I just wanted to go ahead and kind of dip my toe into it and see what we could do. Uh, I am going to go ahead and play with fire this just to get it out of there. Um, and then we'll attack in pretty easy uh don't love the bone crusher giant obviously that's pretty bad for us but we do have the lightning strike uh which can come down and kind of take care of it so they do just bone crusher giant the other one and then they've got a firebrand uh not ideal for sure um yep there's not a bunch else we can do unfortunately we're kind of getting flooded uh which is a little weird for a mono red list obviously but i mean it is what it is i suppose uh what we want to do is let them attack with the firebrands and then in or actually we're probably just going to kill that uh yeah let's just go ahead and knock that down a peg uh get that out of here uh and hopefully we draw some action if we draw a land we're in really bad shape Ugh. all right um yeah unfortunately uh i can't believe how flooded we're getting this is fantastically bad <laughs> um all right, there comes a Bone Crusher Giant. They're obviously going to get the 1-1 one, one counter on it as well. So not good. Um, and this is going to come in and deal two. Give me something. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
Well, let's see. Uh, I don't love this, obviously. Um, I mean, I think we're just gonna die, truthfully. Um, we can kind of stall, but it's not gonna do that much. Yeah, this, I mean, truthfully, we're just not gonna be in a very good place this turn. Um, <laughs> This is a terrible attack. I'm gonna go ahead and concede here. Uh, that was just bad. Unfortunately, we just didn't have anything. Let's jump into game two. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just wanna remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for our next game. And again, kind of a similar hand here. Uh, we do have a nice Burning Tree Emissary into Lightning Strike, which is fine. Uh, and we are... Nah, I think we need to mulligan that. Um, this is much better, actually. I will happily take this. And weirdly, I think it's Torbran that we sent back. No, maybe it's the uh, the Embercleave. As much as I love Embercleave, I think maybe this is the right play. Worth noting, guys, if we get three losses, we are out of the event. If you have not done any events on uh, Arena, in this particular case, Best of One Explorer, if, uh, if you do... Um, get get three losses uh just in total you're out and however many wins you get up until that point is great but that's all you can get so just something to keep in mind here uh we get to go ahead and throw this robber of the rich down it's going to come in with a one one counter i assume they've got a removal spell yes uh don't love that of course but it is what it is it looks like we are going to be up against a rakdos probably very heavy removal build uh, and so we are going to have to keep that in mind as we go Another tour brand is not exactly what you want um, at all, uh, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. If they wanted to block, that would have been fine by me. Um, I don't love it, but it does keep a creature off of the field for them, uh, which I think is potentially more useful. Uh, it will be nice. They did not block and therefore we do have the Torbrand coming down next turn with a creature on the field So if they remove it this time this turn, it's certainly not good for us But uh, we do get quite quite a lot further ahead on the damage race. So we'll see Again, just getting all the lands in the world uh, It's fascinating. All right, let's go ahead and throw Torbrand out there uh, good news, bad news. This is going to be a trickier card for them to just easily remove. Uh, Fatal Push makes it... It's good, but it doesn't solve the problem. The Devil does. Uh, thankfully, in this case, we actually do have a backup. <laughs> uh, so it's not the end of the world. Um, and if they wanted to block there, it would have been great. Uh, but they choose not to. And then, of course, this Reflection of Kiki Jiki is going to come down. So let's see what they've got. Um... They're going to strangle. Okay. Don't love that. Uh, we're kind of getting our butts handed to us, guys, to be honest. But, you know, we're learning. It's fine. Uh, if this isn't a removal spell, we still might have a chance. Oh, it's Croxa. Croxa. We'll definitely discard a land, um, unfortunately. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Every land. Um, let's see. They do have to five cards from their graveyard, which they can do. Uh, but instead they go for a Blood Tithe Harvester. Now I guess they can still do both if they'd want. Um, yeah, we're pretty dead here, to be honest. Uh, as it turns out, we're not very good at Explorer, guys, but you know what? It's cool. We're just trying. Um, let's see what the opponent is looking to do here. Okay, so they're gonna kill Torbran. Don't love that. Basically, we're down to nothing. Uh, lots of removal in this format is what I'm remembering. There's, I mean, it makes sense. You've got things like Fatal Push that are just ridiculously good. Like, of course you're gonna use it, but uh, unfortunately we just don't seem to, to be running very well. We also really do seem to be drawing a lot of lands. Like for a mono red list, I feel like it's a little more than needed. Um, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. There's the Croxa. That goes away. Um, yep. I mean, next turn, we're dead. Uh, unless we somehow get out of this, but I don't think we will. Opponent, I really don't know what they're thinking about. Like, at this point, you can just go for it. Uh, yeah. I'm confused. Why are they, uh, Mr. Prototype, my friend? 
Keep it going. You got this. Uh, I don't, I don't know what's happening. You can do it. You can win. You can beat me. Um, hmm. I mean, we can just concede, I guess, at some point here. Why wouldn't you attack with the reflection? I guess... Yeah, all right. I'm gonna concede. All right. Unfortunately, that's two losses. Let's hope we don't get a third. <laughs> Let's jump into game three. All right, guys, uh, here we are for our third game. Uh, yeah, we can definitely keep this. This is actually, I think, quite a nice hand. Uh, let's go ahead and get the the uh, Saga down here so we can start dealing some damage. Definitely like this one. Um, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's just playing this and leaving up the play with fire, so we don't really get to capitalize on the counter here. Uh, which is a little unfortunate, but we do have the Ferocidon that's going to be able to come down very soon. Um, and I'm all too happy to get that out of there now. Uh, let's be efficient and do what we can there. And let's get some things down. Yeah. Alright, let's Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, it's going to enter with a 1-1 counter on it. And I think we just go ahead and Lightning Strike. Uh, just to deal as much damage as we can this early uh, since we are kind of behind on the lands this time, very back and forth on the lands here, uh, I feel like this is definitely a better option. Okay. Alright, so now we do have Embercleave available, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and do this. Um, and we'll see what they do. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so Embercleave does come down. We're going to throw it on the Burning Tree Emissary. Go ahead and get that out of there. Uh, and they're down to five. So <laughs> feeling okay about this game. Uh, hopefully we can win it. Um, I'm sure that they've got ways they can kind of fin like deal with this. But Mono Green in general, obviously sweepers aren't really a strong suit. So I don't know. Here's to hoping. Um, and there we go. We did it. Thank goodness. Oh, we finally got a win. All right, sick. Uh, that was exactly what we want out of every single game. Unfortunately, we didn't get there in the previous ones, but let's keep going, guys. We're on game four. Let's see if we can get another win. All right, guys, here we are for our fourth game. And yeah, I actually really like this hand. Uh, the play with fire is quite nice because it just means we have a turn one play regardless of what the opponent does. But on top of that, the burning tree emissaries are... Uh, really nice because you can chain those so truthfully just getting another two drop of any kind would be amazing uh, And I mean that's a, it's a two drop. It's two damage to anything um, We do have to pay one for this which isn't ideal, but it's definitely not the end of the world uh, And then we get to go ahead and shock them uh, and so now, again, another land puts us in very good contention. Uh, would love to get Rampaging Frostdawn down against a white deck. Not that I necessarily think they're going to have a ton of life gain. Not all white decks are obviously life gain focused, but it is something to consider. Uh, okay, so pretty clear here. We just do this uh, and attack for four. Not a better option for us. Unfortunately, we couldn't get more damage in. Uh, without dealing with the Thalias, so that's just like a literal we have to do that kind of thing. Um, these are really good in tandem, uh, for sure, so that's cool. Uh, cool. Alright, uh, um, again, kind of unfortunate because we're really not well suited for this. I think we have to pass, so what they can do is sacrifice the Dauntless Bodyguard after blocking to give this indestructible and then create a 3-3 out of it next turn, which just means there's really not a lot we can do about it. Uh, slowly, this game is going to be slipping away because they are going to be able to bolster up these Luminarch Aspirants in a way that unfortunately makes it very tricky for us to deal with them. Um, and it's fine. I mean, that's just the way the game goes. But uh, yeah, they, they definitely, definitely have a good one here. Um, yeah, so again, lands continuously kind of an odd place for us. Either we have too many or we don't have enough. Uh, and this is a shining example of just not exactly having enough. Uh, and so, yeah, I think this game is going to slip away from us, truthfully. Uh, Hazaret's a really cool card because it allows you to damage through even on a stalled board, um, which is obviously really important. Uh, the fact that it also has Indestructible is just 
very, very good because it just means you can obviously block pretty handily. Uh, but again, we're so far behind on the board presence at this point uh, because we weren't able to deal with the Luminar cast, for instance, that uh, unfortunately I just don't think we're going to have much we can do. Um, all right, so we can force the issue here, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, and I think we have to double block there. Uh, so this is gonna kill this because it does have first strike. So that's pretty helpful actually. Uh, and then this attack does allow us to kind of get rid of some things here. So again, it's not perfect of course, but I think that's probably just our best bet. Uh, interesting they didn't play this first. I feel like they could have gotten in for some extra damage there, but hey, whatever. Uh, let's play the Bone Crusher. Um, while this isn't a great hit here, uh, it does mean that if they just put a counter on the Aspirant, we can just block it uh, and kind of solve that issue. Uh, they're going to invest quite a bit here. That's interesting. Okay, sure. Curious to see where this ends up going. Um, it's obviously bad for us. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to block here. Uh, not great for us, I know, but I don't think we have a better option at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> think we're just dead, guys. Uh, very sad, unfortunately. Very, very sad. Um, I think they just have it. I'm going to good game them here. I mean, they just get to attack it and they have plenty of damage to kill us. So, uh, yeah, not a lot we can do. Um, we'll take the block. Yep. Awesome. Well, unfortunately that does mean, uh, that we lose the event, but, uh, we did get one win of our first Explorer deck. So, hey, go us. Um, <laughs> Let's take a look. So just so everybody is aware, this is the Explorer event, uh, and this is kind of the prize pool, and you can see it escalates. Uh, at this point, you get the uh, the play-in points, and that's used for the qualifier matches. So that's actually why I wanted to test this. Uh, but let's go ahead and claim our, our prize. Unfortunately, just some gems. Guys, that's gonna do it for this event. I do hope you enjoyed this. A uh, little something different. We'll shoot for some more of these kinds of events in the near future just to give it a shot and see how we do. Uh, overall, it was fun. I like playing Explorer. I need to get much better at it. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of losses, but you know what? It's okay. Had a blast doing it regardless. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.